Hello, now I know it's been a bit since I have did advice videos I did not create because of certain series I had to complete, but it's time we return with a couple of advices. So for today's advice message for this Go Animate community, is about sometimes the reason Go Animators and people need to take time off from YouTube. But what if the person is gone for a long time? How will people react? Well then, I know people might complain or get really angry or upset when their favorite YouTuber slash Go Animator is gone for a really long time and has not uploaded anything on their channel for a while. Okay, I absolutely understand it can frustrating and disappointing when your favorite YouTuber or Go Animate hasn't uploaded videos on their channel lately. I'm going to explain reasons why that might be the case. This has been explained thousands of times, but people have stuff they have to take care of in real life, which could be a reason people need to be off YouTube for that time, like spending more time with family, getting stuff done in the house, basically they are too busy to be making videos for the viewers at the moment, so they need time off to focus on the life around them, and when they're done, they can go back entertaining the viewers with more videos. Another thing about this is this is a new time and more of where YouTube is usable and something almost everyone uses for stuff. But however, YouTube basically taking over, is not really a bad thing for most people. Same thing with TV getting popular. It's a good day as a kid, watching your favorite tired childhood shows as a child. YouTube also provides some really old stuff like old commercials and TV shows and promos that came along before the website YouTube was even in the picture. If you even wanted to scroll back what the world was like 20 years ago, 76 years ago, or even wanted to travel to the year 1960s TV, 70s TV, 80s TV, or the 2000s TV. Guess what's all here archived? Delphan Productions discovered a lot of TV archives back in the day by scrolling online to look for those. And how everything back then, was very different. Back when I was a kid, there was no YouTube. Computers were not usable as they are more today. The only cartoons popular were Scooby-Doo, The Flintstones, The Jetsons, and a lot more older cartoons. The 2000s was when Nick Jr. and Nick got into the picture and started becoming a popular trend then. The shows Blue's Clues, Bob the Builder, Oswald, Dora the Exploder, Hey Arnold, Rugrats, SpongeBob got just as popular than the really old cartoons did. And that's how TV gotten popular because there was more stuff to watch. Computer games was just the start. More games came out and that's when people gotten into computer games. More than they did back in the 1990s timeline. Xbox exits, PlayStation existed, and as we involve on, 2005 to 2007, was the new websites that years later, changed how people wanted to do in their time. For some people like myself, it can be normal because there's some good stuff online, even old TV archives I watch sometimes. Sometimes though, YouTube can be a scary place for some people. Some kids are not being responsible and going to websites that aren't meant for kids. Even going on some group chats where people are not respectful and want to do nothing but make up lies about you, disrespect you, want to make you feel traumatized for a while. They are bratty kids or trolls that want to drag you off online. Nicholas D had a terrible experience on the Go Animate City, Rapper Central and Flash Themes Discord servers. People were making up rumors saying he supports child abuse when that is a flat out lie. Yeah sometimes on there, there are people who are mentally an issue with behavior, posting stuff online they aren't allowed to post, bullying people, not staying away from drama, and scaring people off. If you were new to the social online stuff, I really want you to be careful when dealing with some chaos online that aren't trustable and doesn't make you feel welcomed in that community. Because some people that came to this community had a bad experience at the end, and that was the last time they would ever go online ever again. Also, if someone was always on YouTube for almost forever, 
and isn't wanting to work or spend time with family or doing anything healthy in their life, not even getting a job. Then that's letting social media take over your life, and that is a very bad sign to your future. You're going to let your worries online take you over, trying to tell people to knock it off, doing insults back to them. If you are feeling bullied and not welcomed, you don't keep going and try to tell them to make it right. That will turn into a fight and you will let that take over your life. It changes your character and personality. Your family won't even notice who you are. In one Jeffy video on that channel that once turned into an SML parody channel formerly Magical Mario Brothers, Jeffy wasn't who he is ever since he became a Discord moderator. Also the fact he didn't shower for weeks, at least at the end he realized that was a bad thing. Another example is another video, Luigi's Apple Vision Pro. He was getting obsessed with the Vision Pro and not bother hanging out with other friends which was basically his family. That also changed him and made him completely different. It also corrupted his mind and forget how much he loved Mario and his other friends. Remember that family always comes first. If you are going to choose social media over that, then you are someone who isn't somebody that wants to do stuff after the life of you being in social media affecting you so much. It's never a wrongdoing trying it out. Getting obsessed with it too much can ruin your life without having a job or working or getting fresh air. That's why we need to take this time off. If I only cared about getting videos out, being obsessed with getting famous and release video to video every day, and not even caring about my fans, the family close to me, then most people would see me as a creep, someone not recognizable, or might see me as someone who is on something. So I'm using all this responsibly. I have always been aware of what I am doing or the stuff I did. Yes, I have made some mistakes when I was younger, but growing up, you learn from them. Another reason they hadn't been uploading for a long time is because of stuff they have to do in real life. And if it's too much, they could decide to just stop altogether. Doing all that and making videos could be too much for the person. Lanky Sheet the 2D Ninja announced that he has made his choice to retire from the Go Animate community two years early because he is applying to transfer to a four-year university. When he transfers there, he's going to learn to be a graphic designer. He definitely will not be around at that time and can't do Go Animate videos as he did before. And trying to do that and continue his Go Animate career is all too much. He wants to be smarter and get all his work done and YouTube could distract him if it was a really important project. Part of the reason I limited Re Saga to 4 parts now. The reason I downgraded to 4 because who else am I going to work with to canon videos to the Re Saga story? With Lanky Sheet the 2D Ninja being gone in 2026. Other users with their for hire videos being gone for a long time. Devious Diesel for hire's termination. The Sprite Trilogy ending. There would be no more stories to work with. I have claimed that I am not going to use just for higher videos on these playlists. That is only just a completion of troublemakers getting jobs. Not actually telling a story. How Nathan Barr said in his project SSBO. Some of the movies like The Infinity War of the Avengers. Space Jam 2. Scooby Doo meets Courage the Cowardly Dog. Super Smash Brothers. Ultimate. SMG 4. The Lawsuit Arc, Gumball Move A, Jeffy's 18th birthday and other stuff explained on the SSBO project all in one told a whole story. He didn't do like a playlist like what I am doing. He explained how all these events took place in future years. It's hard to explain, but how he put that together. He watched those videos and movies which gave Nathan the great decision of an idea to create this project. I don't know if there's going to be more of it. But I know what he is that he didn't feature only TV movies, he featured other projects online and even canon his own movies he made. But the whole point for this topic is, they might decide to leave, the life they are in is too much for them, they don't have time to do videos anymore. I hope this helps you understand, thank you for watching, see you in another video.